Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo, yo, yo. To the You're, You're Not, Not Serious, Serious Right podcast. podcast. And today we got a special guest with us, Caden Jonesy, man. Jonesy. Yo, what's up? I'm so excited to be here. We got some things to talk about, man. And I'm just, it's crazy. I mean, so I want to ask you this question here. Why did you want to be on the podcast? All right. So it was like, I was, I'm working and I listened to, po- I started listening to podcasts. Uh-huh. I never really did. And then around that time, you guys made the, channel and i was like this has to be one of the coolest things i've ever seen and it's like two people i know locally yeah both my friends i gotta i gotta i gotta hop on it i mean i appreciate I, it I, we appreciate we're happy it. to have you on as our first guest first Yo, guest i'm surprised bro it's like <laughs> it's like i'm the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah man you're it's crazy first one, bro. It's crazy hey man you gotta make your mark on this gotta, thing yeah though. you're number one you gotta be the best guest ever <sighs> i try to be i try <laughs> i try all right, so I think you were telling us a little bit before that you had a really funny story. Yeah, you said you had a... Oh, yeah, I do. I do. All right, um, let's hear it, man. Let's, let's go in and hear it. All right, so I'm not really like a beef person, Yeah. right? Yeah. I, I try to keep everything just... Just let me live my life, you know? Uh-huh. And all right, so my friends, they get into some trouble. They get into some trouble. I get into some trouble. So I got to like back it up for them, you know? Yeah. So they start talking to this kid, and the kid starts talking back like on online and stuff. They're going back and forth. Well, um, this person went out of town. All right, so we were like, dude, we gotta plan something crazy, uh-huh. and they're like, all right, like, what can we do? And we're thinking, we're like, can we blow up his mailbox, and we're like, that's a felony. Blow up his mailbox. <laughs> blow up his mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, I mean, why was that one of your just, ideas? I mean, it, it wasn't definitely not gonna go through. Okay, it was, okay, it was just good. an idea, but um, so we ended up egging his house. Egg in his oh, house. Egg in his house. That, okay. Justin Bieber style. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You already know. You already know. Uh, so, how many eggs did you like? Uh, I mean, like a oh, lot, like covered oh, the whole oh, house? Oh, Gibby. Gibby. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. <laughs> so it's me, my boy Cooper Inch, uh-huh. and my boy Tyler Barnett, right? So it's three man mission. We drive down to uh, Columbia. Yeah. So we go to Columbia and we go to Kroger um, by Wendy's. You know, you guys remember that set? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So we, we go to Kroger and we're like, how many eggs should we get? And we're thinking, and we're like, all right, so we grabbed like 60 oh. at the beginning. So what is that, like three cartons or uh, five cartons? or? My math is not mathing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. A lot. A lot, yeah, of eggs. a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Yeah, I knew it was a big carton with three rows, and it was like, uh, uh, uh. And then we got oh. like, I think it was like four or five of those at, oh. at, the, at first. Uh-huh. Right? Jesus. All right, so we're on the way there. We're listening to the little baby only, dude. Like, we're getting <laughs> turned. And... Ethan's mom calls him. So we pull oh. into a church parking lot. At first, right. right. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, what are you doing? Like, she has a live 360. Like, what are you doing in Columbia? Da, 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 da. So he's getting yelled at. Ethan's stressed. Ethan doesn't want to do the mission no more. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, so we go, so we go to his house and we start like, we're like, all right, like, like we're close, but like, all right, how should we do this? Like, we, get, we, tr- right. we, didn't, we didn't plan, we didn't plan it out literally until we got in front of the house. And we're like, yeah. all right, what are we doing? And Cooper was just like, like he is every, everything in life. He was like, dude, let's just send it. Let's just go. <laughs> Full send. So Full like, send. He's like, we have eggs. We have arms. Let's just throw it. And we're like, so All you right. guys are just throwing. Dude, like, we are. Just it, the front of the house or yeah. every, the whole no, house? No, no. Just, just the front. Right. Yeah. And there's two trees. So uh-huh. we're hitting we're hitting trees. They're hitting the roof. They're hitting the front door, the window, <laughs> everything. Right. So we do that mission. Right. Uh-huh. And then we're like, all right. Like, we ran out of eggs. And we're like, all right, we got to go. We got to go. So we all run back into the car. Right. Get back into the car. Yeah. And we go back to Wendy's. Uh-huh. We weren't at Wendy's, but we were close to Wendy's at first. Yeah, we had to celebrate with a four for four. Everybody got a four for four, <laughs> dude. Hey, <laughs> and then we were like, "Do y'all think we got it good enough?" And they were like, "No, like oh. we, we we really don't." So we went Man. back. To, we went back to Kroger and we got more eggs. And this time we got at least, and I'm not exaggerating, 150 eggs. Jesus. Oh, how much did this cost you? Yeah, how much um, is all this? Sh- Tyler Barnett paid for it. I'll be honest, <laughs> <laughs> but it had to be probably around. Thirty and forty dollars. Oh, that's a I, lot for man. eggs. Yeah, for for eggs. just for eggs. For that's eggs. a lot. That's actually a lot. All right. Yeah. So we go, we go all the way back to the house, and this time it was like, all right, like if anybody is home, like they're they're awake now. I think a, I think a light was on, and then we just ignored it and we we're like, dude, like we're already here. We already we bought so many more eggs. We yeah. have to do it. You just all full right. sending. It. Yeah. So we get out the car again, and this time it's a little different. So we're walking up. We're not like. We're not just getting out, don't, 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 don't. Right. right. We're trying to like, I don't, I don't Be a little more sneaky? Yeah, I yeah. guess. I guess. I guess we were like, we knew we were on like a radar. Yeah. So, yeah, we're trying to be more sneaky, but we get up there and we start throwing, I think we got through the first carton. Like everybody has their own. 
So right. we got through our, everybody got through the first carton. And then I, w- I remember I went to go pick up the second carton. Right. And I hear, hey, hey, oh. somebody is coming out of the front door. Okay. Okay. Oh, bro. They come out and I hear, oh, oh, bro. <laughs> I kid you not. This dude Cooper slung an egg at the dude. dude oh what? my he god! Two connected with both. Dude, imagine, imagine this. You're in your house and all I hear is boom, 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 and you walk outside and you see a bunch yeah. of kids throwing eggs and you just get pelted <laughs> in the chest. How far? Like, okay, so how far are you it guys from the house? Realistically, um, I say it's probably from from the road to your your house. Oh, okay. So we're, I mean, it's it's throwing distance. Yeah. So like, you guys are just yeah, launching you, it with the, like throw, fifty feet, probably. Yeah. 50 feet, yeah, yeah, 50, yeah, yeah, 50 yeah. 80 feet. So not horrible far, but... No, like, but I mean, an egg, I don't know if you guys ever egg the house or throwing an egg no, at anybody. No. Don't, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not... I mean... We don't condone egg we, throwing, yeah, guys. I not wouldn't, condone it. I would not do it, but... <laughs> hey, man, we're kids. We have fun. Made a mistake. It's whatever. But, so, yeah, you you when you throw an egg, you have to throw it, like, gentle, but you want to get it to where it's going. Yeah. Or if you throw it hard, it's going to bust in your hand. You're going to have egg yolk all over your hand. Yeah. But anyway, so, bam, dude gets hit twice. Cooper <sighs> Inch. Dude, nailed him perfect. Dude. Picture of the year. Let me picture tell of the you. year, by the Let way. Let me tell you, picture of the year. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, so we hear, oh, oh. Dude, we get back in the car, and we drive so fast out of the neighborhood. And then we got, I mean, we got we got in trouble for that. What did you do after? Like, well, yeah, like, like, were you all nervous? Like, Yeah, we, it was just a lot of nerve. Like, we thought they were coming after us. And we were, we were every police so, we saw from Columbia to Spring Hill, we thought they were, like, on us. Oh, my. So where'd you guys go? Like, where would you guys, like, drive I to, think, like, get away? I th- I think we just came back to Spring Hill and then um, we were all at the crossings yeah. and then we just like, we were all like, oh my God, like what is going on? Dude, we really just- So y'all were just that. paranoid. Yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, he got hit with an egg. Like uh, you had to be there to like, bro, he just, the way so, he came out and the noise that he made when that egg hit him, bro. He, was, I would have been so mad, yeah, dude. dude. I would have been so mad. So, so when, so when he got hit, like was he running after you guys or just sitting there just it yelling? Was, it was like he opened the door and then there's two steps, like step and then a step. And he uh-huh. walked down and I guess as soon as his foot hit that, like the bottom yeah, like right. the sidewalk, it just twice, dude. dude. So Imagine. He probably knocked the wind out of him. Oh, dude. Cooper throwing 78 miles per hour and the egg hitting you in your gut <laughs> oh would not feel good. There's no shot. <laughs> oh, man. Like, so, I mean... I, I can't imagine, like, you like he's... Cooper's just sitting there. He's like, oh, I'm about to pelt this guy. I mean... And boom! I, who knows what's going on in Cooper's head, dude. So, if he so was, you guys just, like, still, like, egg in the front of the house? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Just, oh, dude. I mean, we threw a couple more after, like, after uh, yeah. he got hit, but we just got back in the car. Ran out of there, Got dude. back in the Jeez, car. Dude. Eastern. Dude, we got... We went. We went. I would have, dude. I would have put like, I would have like toilet paper and like throw toilet paper at the houses too. It would have stuck too. Yeah. Have you ever, I, have you ever TP'd a house? No. No, I've, I, I've seen it in movies. Yeah, I've seen it in a lot of movies. <laughs> have you ever, you know, I've invaded a lot of the house ever. No. Uh, good, no. Good. No. Don't. Please do not. Dude, this is this was this is like a year and a half ago, so I should be oh, all right. Wow. I should be all right. Long time ago. Long time. Mistakes all satire made. on the show. All sat- <laughs> uh, satire, please. <laughs> all jokes. All, all jokes. Yeah, that story was not real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I have a really decent story. So, you know, I used to live in Kentucky when I was little. And, you know, when I was a bad kid when I was in Kentucky. I didn't, I didn't know you were, you were from Kentucky. Well, I'm not like from, I'm from here, but then I moved, you moved to Kentucky. Moved yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was a little, I was a little, little shit. So, you know, one day elementary school, me and my boy Jeffrey chilling at lunch, you know, we want to make chaos, dude. We, like we, we just hated people. Jeffrey. We're, yeah, Jeffrey. Go to Jeffrey. Go to, dude. I love that guy. I don't know where he's at now. Probably in Egypt, but hey. Egypt? Why anyways, Egypt? anyways, anyways. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, so we're in lunch. We're chilling, right? And, you know, we decided we want to, like, make chaos. And apparently he wants to chaos against me. So he was he was darting some orange slices at me. So y'all are just food fighting. Yeah, we're food fighting. Oh, God. And I'm like, oh, you want to play that game? I had, I'm, I shit you not, dude. I had, like, a big-ass PB&J on my plate. I picked it up. I wind that shit back. I was like, dude, I'm about to throw this shit. This guy did some matrix type shit. He said, whoop. I hit the, there was a girl right behind him. She had, like, she, she had a pink shirt. She had, like, nice clothes, pink shirt, nice, nice jeans, cool shoes. I, dude, right directly in her, I mean, I darted it. P- peanut butter and jelly oh, all over that nice pink shirt. She got up, <laughs> she turned around, and she was screaming and yelling at me, and she was crying. And I'm not gonna lie, I was cracking up in her face. I was just laughing. I was like, <laughs> like, I was just, I was okay, cracking. So you're telling me, you and this kid are food fighting. Yeah. And then he, 
Dude, no, no, of, I, <laughs> dude, I, I, I've never seen him move that fast in my life. He said, weave. Like, dude, he moves so fast. Bro. And, and dude, then you nail a girl. Yeah, I, right behind, dude. And she she was mad, buddy. She turned around, she was crying I and yelling too, at me. PB and J, bro? bro yeah. if I'm eating lunch, <laughs> I see Jeffrey move out of the way, and I get hit with a PB and J on my chest. I would not. Chris I mean, Gilbert is getting screamed at. 100%. I mean, it was. I, I mean, it was a lot. Like peanut butter and jelly all over. That like, she. I ruined that shit. And I was just cracking up. And you know, of course, she told the, told you know the teacher on me. And then I had to go to the principal's office. Me and him. Me and the principal were actually homies because I was there like every other week because I was always always a bad kid. You're like, a bad. So give us some more information about you being a bad kid. I'm curious because you're not a bad kid okay. no more. You've been well, a little in Kentucky. I was considerate. I was little. I was little. Little shit. I get in fights, dude. I just. I just did not care. Like in school, like elementary, I would just fight. All, I, would, I would legit fight all the eighth graders when I was like in like second grade. I did not. Care. Did you ever lose? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of time. I, a lot of wins and losses. But anyways, me and the principal was low key chill, man. But he was having one of those days. Whew. Mm, bad day. He was like, "He's like Chris, why, why are you food fighting?" And I could, I could have told the ranch, you know, Jeffrey, you know, weed out the way, and I actually hit the girl. But I was not gonna rat on my boy, so I. I said the stupidest shit ever. I just want to see if I can make it in the trash can. <laughs> are you serious, Chris? That's what you came up with. And he looked at me like, bro, are you, are you? He, he knew I was capping. He just knew it. So he was and, just staring at yeah, you. Yeah, he, he, he was like, are you, are you serious? I, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. And he knew I was capping. To, and, and then a week later, I got ISS for two weeks. And then two weeks after that, I moved back here. So, yeah. What? I do have a lot of Kentucky stories, though. That's one of them. One of the worst feelings has to be when, like, your favorite teacher is in a bad mood because a, a oh, another yeah. student put him in that mood, and you, yeah. like, like the principal, bro. the principal usually just like leaves me off easy. But yeah, you're good, bro. No, not today, buddy. He gave me two weeks of ISS, and that was so bad. <sighs> two weeks of ISS. Yep. Garbage. Then I moved two weeks later. I moved back here, Dang. and that's where I finally changed. That was when I got yelled at by my dad. Gibby became a good boy. Oh yeah, I'm a good boy now. <laughs> That's one of my Kentucky stories. I heard you got a good story, Jacob. Well, before I tell my story, we've got a new setup. Oh, Again. yeah, we do. Yeah. If you guys notice, a really nice. I think it's nice. A lot. A we got a, upgrade. We got a futon slash futon. leather couch. I just call it a couch. For the uh, video listeners now, so y'all can look at our pretty faces head on, and we can look at you head on. You know how that works? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Stare in your eyes. But, yeah, I got a story from a couple Fourth of Julys ago. All right. And uh, I was up in Maryland. And y'all definitely remember Mr. Fuzz. From oh, the Mr. Fuzz. From the last story. <laughs> and Mr. Fuzz had a bright idea. We had gone to the fireworks store, and we got, like, the boxes of fireworks for, like, 100 bucks. I did. And then we got a mortar one. We yeah. got, like, the mortar one that comes, like, 24 shows. And we were not having enough fun shooting them in the sky. Oh, gosh. Oh, and wow. so he was like, let me angle it. So it, like, <laughs> shoots in the sky at an angle. And then he props it up. In his yard, and he like it's at an angle, and he shoots it up, and like it did not go up. Yeah, it like it like curved and went straight in the neighbor's yard and blew up straight in the grass, oh. and it went everywhere. Like it was like boom, and then we everyone thought it was gonna go up and like be this cool spectacular yeah. event, <laughs> and it just landed right in the grass. And man, dude, did you guys run was, away or what happened? Yeah, like, no, we just kept doing it. Actually, oh, oh. We, we, <laughs> you just didn't care. He was like, I think my algorithm was wrong. Let me try again. <laughs> and he tried a different yeah. angle, and the same thing happened again. Did your neighbor ever come out? No, I think he was out of town, thankfully. Good, <gasps> dude. Imagine. Dang. But, um, and then part of that, we had gotten a box, that like box of fireworks. Yeah. And that has like a bunch of different brands of fireworks in there. And we, uh, we had launched all of them off, and then there was one box that just didn't work. And we're like, all right. So we had a bonfire gun. We threw it in the fire pit. <laughs> You know, it doesn't work. It wasn't lighting. Yeah. And then, kid you not, an hour later, I'm with my homie, uh, my cousin, and my cousin's friend. They're older dudes. And uh, we're sitting there talking on the porch. And next thing I know here, pew, boom. Oh, gosh. <laughs> A firework just shot out the fire pit oh straight for my head and was blocked by, like, the balcony of the stair thing. Yeah. And, and the next thing you know, again, Boom. Oh, so you're just so, getting like pelted with fireworks. Yes. At this point. And then all me and my cousin and his friend are all just like ducking down. Cause what? like, I mean, it feels like we're in the war, dude. We just have <laughs> we just have <laughs> things <laughs> flying as explode. And we're like, oh God. So we run inside. Like the door was right there. We go inside. And we're like, yeah, y'all, y'all should not go outside. And then and then my man, Mr. Fuzz, walks outside. Oh gosh. Oh. And a firework just landed on him. 
Oh, <laughs> who was shooting the fireworks? The f- definitely has the fire name. pit was shooting oh, the fireworks. Wait, why were you? You're lost, dude. I'm so lost. They threw the box in there. Yeah, we oh, threw the box in the so fire. Why, why are you throwing the box in there? <laughs> Because it why, wasn't okay, working. Okay, okay. So, did why you you think you thought it was <laughs> you thought it was a good idea? Yeah, Russ flabbergasted. Oh God, I, I'm really like what? <laughs> There's no way you're doing that. We just threw it in there, and we because we were lighting, it wasn't shooting off, so we thought it was just. Oh hey, let's just throw it in the bonfire. We know what else to do with it, uh, and uh, it, it didn't end up well for us at all. I mean, I almost got <laughs> nailed in the head <laughs> with the with like a little it was like pew boom. Like it was bad. It like that little like the railing on the staircase saved my life. I swear. What kind of fire fireworks was it? Was it like one of those like it was the sticks? box ones? Oh okay. No, it was like a box. Oh, it was a whole box. Yeah, it's, it was just it's like the twenty five <laughs> shot. Like, yes. Oh, those are worse. <laughs> but it, but it was burnt. Half of it was burnt, so only like yeah. twelve shot off. But they were still firing full speed. Oh my is- gosh, man. <laughs> so what'd you do after that? You probably got Vietnam flashbacks. But when you drop the soap in the shower, are you like freaking out? Cause <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? There's no shot, bro. It, it was it was scary, yeah. and uh, you know, I've got another story with my man, my cousin man. I don't know what to call him. I'm just gonna call him cousin man because <laughs> cousin man. All right. I don't know how he feels about this, but uh, do y'all know a lot about dry ice? Yeah. Uh, decent amount. Yeah. So dry ice is the frozen gas CO two, yep. carbon dioxide, right? And uh, you can buy it. We got to be eighteen or older because it's dangerous. And I had my uh, my uh, uncle Fuzz, right, Mister Fuzz. He had gotten some meat, some special hundred fifty dollar wagyu stuff because mm-hmm. he's like a cook, right? And uh-huh. he had gotten this fancy meat in the, in the in the package. It came with dry ice to keep it cool, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm like, let's do some experiments with the dry ice. First, we do the generic, like, put some soap and some, make some bubbles. And then I was like, let's make a rocket. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's make a rocket. Rocket's crazy. So, uh, first, we try it with a milk carton. Um, We put some, because we looked up, it's boiling water. And then you put the dry ice, it'll, like, expand and blow up, right? Yeah. So, we got the milk carton. We got the dry ice in there. And then we're dumping boiling water. And we throw it out. And it just explodes. It was like, all right. And then I looked it up. And I was like, you need some sort of pressure. Right, and a milk carton is not built for pressure, but we did have a soda bottle, and those things are for carbon, like carbonated drinks, right? Yeah. yeah. So it can withstand. <clears throat> so when it explodes, it's a lot more pressure. So my man, cousin man, uh, he, uh, he, I was letting him do it because I was scared. I was, I was like, I was like fourteen, so I was a little, I was a little scared, but I wanted to experiment. So he's got, the, he's got the soda bottle now. Well, he just got the boiling water. He dumps it in there, dry ice in there twists it and starts shaking it because we're like so shake it and then as soon as he throws it maybe one second after it explodes oh bro so his hand could have just exploded off oh my he, literally if you would have held on it one more second dude his hand would have been like on, toast dude. he would have been walking around like this <laughs> <laughs> where's my hand <laughs> so he literally threw it and not but one second it was the loudest like it's like boom, and it was like, oh my! God. And that was in the dry ice. I was not yeah, allowed to touch like, dry ice ever again. I would never go near dry ice. And uh, how much is it? How much does uh, dry ice cost? I think it's like ten bucks a pound, five bucks a pound. Where it's can you bad. get it at? Kroger. Really? You can get. Don't tell me that. Yeah, don't tell me that no, either. Because I would not tell me that. <laughs> you can get. It's like the cool. It's in the cooler. That like the little penguin, penguin ice. You know, the like cooler next to the freezers. Yeah. That's the dry ice. Oh wow! You, you, yeah. All you gotta do is be eighteen or to buy it. Lee Cooper. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh wow! You only, I'm gonna guess there's gonna be some more stories coming out. Oh, and uh, if you hear you any dry be, ice uh, uh, implications, it's this guy right here. <laughs> Dude, you have okay. I would change the policy to twenty one. Eighteen is crazy. Well, they just don't want kids buying it. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. But you, but, be, you know, uh, there's a lot of eighteen year olds that act like kids. <clears> so not pointing anything. <laughs> all of us probably. <laughs> Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah. Do you have any other funny story? I know you had oh, a couple. I yeah, got, you said you had a couple. I do. I got a, I got so many. Like, uh, I feel so old, but I'm only 18. It's crazy. I, like, my life really just started. But right. I have so many stories. But this one time. All right. So, you guys ever been to the quarry in Berry Farms? No, I've heard uh, about I it. I know you're talking about, yeah. All right. I, so, you can either I park across the street or at a gas station, right? Uh-huh. So, I think we parked across the street. So, we just walked across Simple. And, dude, it is like going up Mount Everest to get to the quarry. Like, you have to go behind a fence, 
through the woods. You have to like jump over another fence. Dude, it's 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 crazy. So it's a long walk. Yeah. So, but um, you don't know who's up there. You don't know if anybody's up there because yeah. the walk is so long. You right. don't know where they parked at. So, but like as as you get closer, you can kind of hear people ah, right <laughs> jumping yeah. into the water. So we're like, all right. Like we're ready to swim and stuff, but we get there, it's all green and nasty. We do, we're not swimming. Ugh. Yeah, and it was kind of bummed us out. But there was this kid. There was two kids. Um, I forgot what. There was Mullet Man. We're called Mullet. Mullet Man. Man. Mullet Man. I, I feel like I should know his name, but I don't have no clue what the other kid's name is. But <laughs> Mullet Man was like Cooper Inch, but like 13, 14 years old. Right. Right, dude. He's, he's crazy. If he was smart, he'd be very dangerous. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> very dangerous. <laughs> so, all right. So, Mullet Man is like, "Yo, what's up? Like, like, what are y'all doing?" And we're just like, like, watching them jump off and stuff. Yeah. So, but when you jump off, you have to walk all the way around, right? Right. To go back to the top. There's three jumps. About a twenty foot one, and forty, and I think the other one is fifty, fifty five. So yeah. pretty, so pretty Dude, high. Yeah. Do y'all like jumping off cliffs and stuff? I've never done it. I've never done it. <laughs> yes. Is, is it like scary? How? Yeah, to oh, an extent. Man. You're just in the air for so long. Does but, it hurt like when you yeah, land? Like, like you, I was curious about uh, that. If you land wrong, yes. <sighs> how do you land, right? So you just like, just, yeah, you. S- I mean, if, you, if you're going from the, the first one, it don't really matter how you land. I think you, you should be all right. You just don't belly flop, obviously. Oh, that would hurt. Yeah, Imagine doing, doing that. that. No. But all right, let me get back to it. So we, we are with, it's me, Ethan, and Addison Cornwall. All right, so we... um. So we're walking up there, we get up there, we're talking to the kids, watching them jump off and stuff. And then we're like, dude, how much, like, what would we have to do for you to jump off that, the highest one naked? Mullet Man? Yeah, Mullet Man. Mullet Man. Mullet, Mullet Man. Man, dude. He's he's crazy. Like, the way he's talking to us, we, we can just tell he, he'll do it for, like, the right amount. Right. Oh, wow. Right? So we're like, we're thinking, we're trying to, like, tell him money, but we don't have, we're not going to give him any money. So we're like, <laughs> what is a he's way? He's getting scammed. Oh, he is what getting is scammed. a way that we could do this? And we looked at Addy, and we're like, Addy, would you give him a kiss? I got, I got, I, it's, it's, it seemed real. Friendly. It friendly. seemed real, but yeah. everybody knew she was not kissing him. Oh. Everybody knew she was not, no matter what, this, he could have done a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> not getting kissed. But, so, I guess, like, but, after we all talked about it, and Addie knew, like, all along, it was a joke. Right. She was like, I'm not, like, you guys know I'm not going to kiss him. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, we tell him, dude, he's 14, he's going crazy. He's like, dude, she's, she's. 17 at the time she, he was like oh my god dude 17 was about to kiss me if I, I gotta jump off naked so he does a walk of shame he drops this man's clothes. naked he's naked dude I right. couldn't do that bro it has to be you know the it's, it's a long walk it's, it is a long walk from the water all the way back to up to the very especially the very top like a 5 minute walk, walk we're talking 10 minute walk are you a fast walker Decently, I got long legs, man. Yeah, you just gotta. I probably say legs. five to seven minutes. Five, seven. That's yeah. still a long walk, man. Dude, yeah, every jump. Every and you're naked. Oh, and you said it was a big man. jump. Like yes. it's like a. Dude, oh. Yes. So yeah, he gets up there, and he jumps. And the second, all right, not the second, but he hit the water and he started swimming back towards us. And he was like, "Where's my kiss? Where's my kiss?" <laughs> dude, dipped. Oh, you, you just, just left. Him? We dipped. We dipped. Oh, He's over there, oh. butt booty naked, Out. and he you butt, left. Butt booty naked with his friends. I don't know what they did. I don't know where they went. They did not follow us. Oh, wow. But that's probably the fastest I've ever seen Ethan and Addy run ever. That kid is... Def- that You definitely started his villain oh, arc, man. Dude, yeah, that you man definitely is, did. I wonder where he's at. That man's changed. <laughs> I wonder if he ever jumped off any other cliffs to get a kiss. How deep was the water, you know? Um, It's not really known. It's a man-made quarry, so it ha- I mean... Because I would no be telling. scared, you know, jumping off high and like, what if you just go all the way down and boom, you hit rocks. Yes, like, I would I mean, be scared of that. Some people said there's like bulldozers and stuff down there. Oh, but wow. Then again, the water's so dirty. So is it just rainwater then that's collected um, over the years? Yeah, I guess. <sighs> and that's and gross, he's man. He's naked and he has all that goo on him. Yeah. Oh, oh bro, man. It was like the whole top layer was just like, like probably that thick. Oh, uh, like an inch moss. thick? Yeah. <sighs> And there's like beer cans, cause they, like they do parties and stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. Beer cans. Is it like, like kind of like the uh, what's that one movie with like all the dudes? Um, um, grownups. Grown, is it like a grown, yeah, Is it yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Like that? Oh, yeah. you know it. Yeah. 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 Oh. Right. But you know how they were posted up on the rocks? Yeah. Right. That's how. That's where we were, and that it was probably about the same amount of jump, like same distance. Dude, I would be mad. Like you just, oh, I'm about to get this kiss. Nobody there. I'll be so mad. So yeah. You just darted. You I think left. I just accepted at that point. I think yeah. exactly what he did. He was I like, man. Why? Why would you even jump off naked? Why would you? Why would you jump off? And why would you jump off naked? <laughs> Homie had nothing better to do. One wrong, one wrong land, and you're not having kids. Oh, dude, that's true. Oh, don't no say more. that. Oh my, Gibby Junior, dude, <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not happening. Oh like, no, Jacob Junior is not happening. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I say stay. I'm never doing that anytime soon. Oh, real How much money? Do you have to do that? Like how much? Naked? I, yeah, naked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred is pushing it. 500. Ten grand. Are you serious, dude, dude? I'm not risking that. Okay, so look, when he was naked, you guys, I'll be cracking up. Oh, dude. Yes. All right, all right. So, <laughs> so he's he's he drops his drawers like, yeah. at the bottom. We're all at. So he just yeah. yeah. Is, oh yeah. And he walks up, and I I mean he probably took his hands off and he's walking by himself. Yeah. yeah. Right. But when he got back up, yeah, he was like this all the way until he went. He jumped, and then it was just. If you slow down the video, you can see. Just, oh man, a gummy worm, man. <laughs> a gummy worm. Saying, "Yo, I'm here. I'm, I'm alive. What's up, Mullet Man? If you're out there, sorry, man. Mullet Man, I don't know. Where you're <laughs> <laughs> hope you're doing all right, yeah, Mullet Man. I hope you recover from that, man. Like mentally <sighs> and physically, because I know. Let's hope hurt. you can have kids, though. Yeah, honestly, because you don't know if anything happened. Was he in pain when he landed? Um, no, he, he got up on the water, like he like resurfaced and he was just, where's my kiss at? That's all he kept saying. Where's my Dude, kiss? Was he he like was determined. My kiss? Was, I, I wouldn't say screaming. It was, it got, it did get gradually louder. Right. Yeah. But it was started off as like a, where's my kiss at? And then it was like, it ended up being like, oh, where's my kiss at? Where's my, and then as we're turning around, I'm like, you're just going. <laughs> So they, yeah. they didn't follow you or anything? No. Was no. it just laugh on the car ride home? I just saw oh, laughing. Oh, dude, we are dying. <laughs> we took, we got videos and stuff, dude. We're just dying. And it's, Man. I just don't understand why. I feel bad for that, dude. Now you're making me feel bad yeah, for him. Would y'all do, do it? Would y'all do it for a kiss? I, I, no. no, I would do it for five hundred dollars. <laughs> <Like, laughs> would y'all feel bad? But the thing is, he's fourteen, so he doesn't. He's like, oh, yeah. this seventeen year old girl's gonna kiss me. Yeah. So there, there's, poor dude. Poor guy. Like, there's but no nah, shot. he's stupid. Then again, yeah, he, he did right. do it to himself. He did yeah. it to himself. You said he was 14? 14 at the yeah, time. Dumb yeah, dumb decisions. All right. I mean, I would do it $500, though. $500? <laughs> yeah. 10 Gs, there's no way. No. no, I feel like when y'all get up there, y'all probably up it to like 100000 Did you jump off of it, no. too? Nope. No. Nope. I did the first did one. Did anyone, any in your friend group jump off of uh, it? Greg Curry did. If the water was clean, I would. Yeah, but the water's bad, not bro. clean. That's why you don't want get, you can get like nasty, diseases. Man. Yeah. There is actually like fish in there, too. Oh, whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, like blue goo, blue goo. Oh, like, okay. Like, they just, you can see him like, swimming oh, okay. on the rocks and Dude, stuff. Dude, imagine there's an alligator in there. Over here, jump by. He's butt booty naked. Mullet man. Ah! Gonna attack on that alligator while he's <laughs> naked. butt booty naked. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. My penis. My penis. <laughs> Oh, imagine, dude! Imagine oh. just biting the. Oh my! Bro. Nah, dude, I'm, I'm. You can't. You just gotta accept it. Yeah, There's you, no way you're out swimming oh, an alligator. Yeah, you're, yeah, it, his well, territory. He probably just grab you and do a little death roll. Oh, oh yeah, dude, yeah. Those, those are scary. Just takes you under, yeah. bro. Oh yeah. You, you said you're not how deep it is. That means just gonna. I keep mean, swimming, dude. I really wonder how deep that is. Like, see, no I'm telling. scared of like deep water. If it's like deep, I can't do that because I just feel like someone's gonna attack me. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid of the ocean. I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah. I just feel. Have ever? Have you ever drowned? No. no, I guess I don't have that problem. You are tall. Never mind. You drowned before? You've drowned no, before? but I haven't drowned. I physically drowned, but I have been drowning, and somebody had to save me. Yes. Oh yeah, I've done so that. So you have drowned? Yeah, I you guess. Basically yeah. Drowned. Well, when I think of drown, I think like dying. Yeah, like yeah, dead, okay. like CPR, bring back the life type. Uh, drown. I mean, I, I drowned when I was like, a little kid. My mom had to pick me up. And my dad was yelling at me because I was, he was like, dude, you're an idiot. You're, you're an idiot. Do you, how do you not know how to swim? You're an idiot. And yeah, I mean. You got a lot of trauma, dude. Are you okay? <laughs> Maybe, man. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, dude. man. Well, you know, I think that this this new year, since it has started, right? Uh -huh. I think this is going to be a good year for everybody. Yeah. I think this year, since the pandemic has been over for. Four years. Not four, like Three? two, that's two and two? a half. That's crazy. Yeah. I think that everything's kind of returning back to normal. Knock on wood. Knock but on I wood. think this this next year is going to be pretty, pretty like good for everybody. Like, you know, because it's kind of returning back to normal. Yeah. And I hope next this Christmas is better too, because the last Christmas was not it. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't it. I mean, I, I don't know. Like Christmas doesn't really feel the same anymore, but you know. It's not. I wonder why that is. People say it's because of COVID, but at the same time, I just feel like we're getting older. I, yeah. I just say when we were kids, we had more... Like, you know, excitement for Christmas. So, I mean, I don't know. Well, now we, we, like, we used to believe in Santa. Yeah, now we don't. Santa is not real. But, like, now, like, for Christmas, like, I don't need anything. I just buy things. Right. Yeah. Since you're older, you know what I'm saying? I like giving gifts more. I'm not oh, gonna lie. Oh, me too. I love giving gifts, man. Seeing your, seeing your friends or family happy after you, like, got them a gift they knew you'd like, that's just the best feeling. And it really doesn't feel like 2024. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> for graduating this year, man. Yeah. How does it feel not being yeah. in school anymore? How does it man? feel? Like, what, what for, have you been doing? All right. 
um, a lot of my friends are still in high school, so it was just like, man, hey, you want to hang out? Kaden, we're at school. <laughs> Bro, just come on. Kaden, we have school and baseball. Like, we can't. I'm like, yeah. I mean, it is kind of different, but I, I'm used to it now. So, like, how was the transition, though, to, like, just, like, graduating and, like, you were just like, man. Because um, I got to be somewhat prepared because yeah, it's coming get, up. Yeah, we got to be prepared. Five months is going to go yeah. by fast. I already know it. <sighs> Wait, be prepared and, wait, can you say it again? Just like how 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 did you like the did you, like graduation like were you emotional, like was it an emotional experience or like yes and no I was kind of sad because I mean it's like your whole life is just yeah it's like gone you're like you, for that one you unlock and, free roam yeah you're just like, <laughs> like, that's what this man like, always says he always says you unlock free you roam basically unlock free roam and you don't know what to do because you have no school you don't have to wake up early unless you got a nine to five job but I mean yeah and then it. you really just got to figure out like what your purpose is yeah right yeah and then. So like, what were you doing? Like, were you just sitting in bed, like on your free time? Like, man, um, I don't have to. I don't have school. Like, right after graduation. Or yeah, like, like I guess yeah, like right, the month yeah, after. Like, month how was after. that? Um, it was summer. I think I was just. It was just like a regular summer, just hanging out with the boys all day. Yeah. Just doing the good old things that we do. But so, then August came around, and you were like, Yeah, they. Um, actually, my friends went back to college. Or not back to college. They went to college. Right. And yeah. It was just I was at home, and I was like, Part of me wanted to go to college, but I was like. No. Nah. No. Not for you? Not for me. No. College is one of those things where like you just really got to you got to have a set job of mind I feel like because if yeah, not like, like yeah. it's kind of I, I don't I don't like saying wasted time, but it's like you find a lot of like struggle to like keep going with it because if you don't have a set job of mind you're like why am I even going? Yeah. And most people drop out. You still have life to go through this brand new experience that you have yeah. already have so much pressure on. Right. As like keeping your, your grades like and it's just not for me. I man. feel like it's not I, for me. I feel like high school is a waste of time right now because like I like none of my teachers we don't do anything and like I'm just I'm only there for four hours and I'm just like dude no, it's just a waste of time. Yeah, I wish I had a school where like you could like your parents like sign you up and then they have like a niche. Right. And you oh take yeah. That niche and that's like not your career, but that's something you want to learn instead of learning algebra two honors. Yeah. You I, mean like during like high school years or just like uh, after high school? Because there's trade schools which are kind of yeah, similar to that, yeah. but. I'd probably, I don't know, it'd be cool to see something, just something try to happen like that in high school. Right. Probably 11th and 12th grade, though. I wouldn't Like, like the last it. two years? Yeah. We should be like, hey, what are you interested in? You yeah. Know, we can we can help you get, like, more. I just wish they just, like, cared more. Yeah, like, they do. They like, don't. they care. Like, I just, I just wish they cared more, to be honest with you. And it's just weird now. Like, I feel like the freshmen just look so young. Now. Yeah, like, every, I feel like every year they just get younger and younger and younger. Because, like, when you guys, you guys look old. You guys look older. I'm like. Like, what happened? Like, these freshmen now, they're going to be seniors. I feel like just, they're just going to look pretty young. And they just don't go outside. Yeah, they really don't. <laughs> How do y'all feel about graduating? Are y'all nervous, scared? What's your emotions towards it? I think me and Chris are kind of on the same page with that. I think we're just ready to get on. I, I'm ready to get on. Get moving. Get moving. Start. I'm ready to, new life, like, you know, good life. I'm ready. I'm Because we I'm are, coming. we're moving out of state and we're just going to be grinding. Yeah, we're just going to be Dude, grinding, grinding. That's awesome. Yep. That's Awesome to hear. We're gonna. Oh, yeah. We've got a. We basically got a whole plan. Yep. And it, it's uh, uh, the plan's pretty flexible too. If anything were to change, but yeah, we're just moving to Maryland with our my family up there, staying at uh, Mr. Fuzz's crib for a year, yeah, grinding. Mr. Fuzz. And then we're gonna be out on our own. And yeah. if this podcast keeps going, you never know where that's gonna end up either. Yeah, I mean, no, you're right. Doing a podcast in a trailer park, you never know. It'd be kind of cool. I mean, I don't know <laughs> if the viewers know this, but there is so much behind the scenes that you guys don't even know about. Like, I, I walked in and they're setting up stuff, and I'm like. You need that for you need that for a podcast. Like, all this is yeah. gonna, it's just it's crazy. These guys are just it's so cool that they're doing it, man. It's just it's awesome. Thank you, man. I really Thank do you, appreciate man. you, man. Yes, sir. Speaking on the high school graduation topic, part of me still kind of feels like you know sad and like I kind of don't want to leave because like I, I don't know like all my friends, all the people I get to like go somewhere, you know. Like when that ends, I don't have anywhere, you know, just like grind and work. That's about it. Yeah. Hey man, we make we make friends along the way. Yeah, I don't think it's hard for anybody to are make you, friends. Are you nervous to graduate? I think it's just with me, with other people being sad. I get see on my own. I don't usually cry or like anything. But if yeah. other people around me, yeah, like, I can my like my mom kinda, and like dad, dude. I, yeah, I can't. I, gotta, I can kind of like down. I like my 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 brain is kind of like they're crying. Like I think you should start getting sad. Yeah. So if everyone around me is like, probably feeling down, or I'll probably start feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. See, like my mind, like when we graduate, it's I feel like it's gonna feel s like surreal because I'm actually in, like about to be in like the real world. You know what I'm saying? Like I you actually gotta like you know insurance, like all that. You gotta worry about that now. Like like we're kids, we have to worry about that right as of right now. But later on, we're gonna have to. 
Some people do though. Some people I thought about that right now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Depending on their family situation, yeah. I feel bad for them. Uh, I do too, man. We are really we have a lot. We have a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't have. Yeah, and I, I'm grateful. I'm so really grateful. grateful. So grateful. It's hard. It, it's hard for me to understand a lot of people who aren't grateful, like disrespect their parents and stuff, because yeah. it's like, man, dude, you have so much you don't even realize. Yeah, my biggest pet peeve has to be when somebody disrespects their mom. Yeah, that like, that, that bro, hurts seriously. You don't like. Even my some of my friends do it. Dude, I just want to, I just want to hit them. <laughs> want to hit them, man. Cause like, dude, it like, drives me crazy. Mom like loves you, man. She 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 wants the best for you, man. And they're just yelling. That 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 makes me mad too. They're just yelling at like like your mom. Like, why are you yelling at your mom? I remember this one time I was at work, and uh, I had a homie. Not gonna say his name because it's kind of a bad thing to say about somebody. But it was like I think it was near Christmas time, and I was like, "What'd you get your?" Or it was near Mother's Day actually. Yeah. And I was like, "What'd you get your mom?" She's like, "He was like, I didn't get nothing for her. She, 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 I, I didn't ask to be born. She don't deserve nothing." Wow. I was probably, like, "What?" Wow. You got hit. I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Yeah, she ain't done nothing for me." I'm like, "Who, who, who provides you with the house? Yeah. Who provides you with electricity? Yeah. Who's working every day?" Food. And he's like, "Everything." And he's like, yeah, "Literally." He's like, "She don't do nothing for me. I don't care about her like that." I was like, wow. Bro, all she had to do was not feed him that man for one <laughs> month and he would have been eliminated from the world. Seriously, I just, it just, didn't, I was like, I was just so like confused. Some people, I mean, you get it. Some people are like that because like their household sometimes, like maybe, you know, their dad beats them or, you know, or some other Mom things, beats them. But, yeah. but like, then yeah. again, it's like, I get, I see that if, you know, if you can beat, then like, like there's that. definitely yeah. like ways around it. But like, if you live in a nice house, I, yeah. you have a job, someone drives you to work every day. That's yep. probably your parents. You've got to at least show them some respect. Yeah. Buy him gifts, man. Like I, I, I love giving my parents so many gifts. Like, I mean, I feel like, I feel so bad if I don't give them a gift. I, I yeah, really feel so bad. But did you have any questions for us about the podcast or yeah, about so anything like, in the future? What, what inspired you guys to do it? Like to start it up? I think for me, it was, if there's one podcast and it was part of Two Bears, One Cave or the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. Joe Rogan podcast. It's, it's a good podcast. Favorites. For me, I mean, I'm not going to lie. He he was calling me. He was like, dude, you want to do this? I'm, And if I'm going to be real, back in my head, I really didn't want to do it because I don't like talking, to be honest with you. But I was like, dude, I really want to like get out of my box, you know, and I like, really try something new. And here we are now. I mean, and I was on the phone great. with I was on the phone with you for like an hour yeah, and a half. We're, we're, to, plan, we're legit planning all this out. I, I was it was a, honestly I was I turned into a motivational speaker yeah, for like yeah. two hours. Was, how yeah. long how long ago was this phone call? Well, it was probably December fifth, December sixth. Yep. Bro, think about that. Y'all have what is it, January fifth, sixth now? January sixth? Yeah. Y'all mm -hmm. have this is the fourth episode. Like if y'all like, if y'all can't tell, y'all are killing it right now. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. It's we really, really do like, appreciate you. You don't understand, like, how... Some people don't even have the courage to sit in front of a camera and then yeah. yet to post it. Right. See, th that was my problem, but, like, I, I'm stepping out of my box, and I'm I'm happy I did. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, so I, how I do y'all... this. How do y'all deal with that? How do y'all deal with people, like, um, I, I guess, others' opinions, like, on what y'all do? Like, I know you, you do music. Yeah. I was going to ask you that off-camera, but we might as well on-camera. Um, I mean, I think for the... I used to really be bad with handling, like criticism because all people just don't know how to phrase it right yeah and it, I, I always took it as like an attack but like now i kind of look at it like it gives me a reason to work harder and do better especially with my music it's like you don't like it like what don't you like about it? like tell me what i can do to make it yeah. better to make you listen or whatever and it's like that would drive me to do better same with this podcast i mean we uh were talking to somebody about the second episode and they're like it just wasn't that good and it's like why wasn't it good yeah. Like what's wrong? Like, what tell, like I, I need someone to be honest with us. Like, you know, what can we do better? Yeah, and then use that to make it better. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it, <sighs> trying to please everybody, man. I know that's probably hard. Yeah. See, for me, I that that was that was one big thing too. When I when we had that call, I was like, dude, what if people just hate the podcast and they're just gonna like, I'm, I'm gonna go to school. They're gonna make you know laugh at me. And to be honest with you. Going to school, everyone said they love it. So, I mean, really positive, actually. Bro, it, surprisingly. I surprisingly, actually. It was a brilliant idea. Because name one or two other people, I guess, y'all like a pair. Name, like, two other people that had done a podcast that go to Spring Hill. That live in Murray County. That no one. live in Spring Hill. No Not, one. A like, bro, Not a exactly. clue. Exactly. And it's like, you guys started it. It's, yeah. it's so cool. Like, that's why I wanted to be involved. Because I was like, dude, this is awesome. We're, glad, you, we're glad you're here. I, th I think the funniest thing about starting this podcast was uploaded the first TikTok clip. It got 600 views. And yep. the first comment was, y'all stop making this podcast right now. Yep. 
Y'all are not going to make it stop while you're ahead. I'm not, when I saw that, I was like, dude, and, I don't care. And you know what I did? I, respl- I oh. replied, thank you. And I replied with a video of another clip from that podcast. And yep. I kept going. Hey, I, I feel like that, I, like if people are just going to like, you know, trash on, I'm like, all right, you're not doing it. Yeah, I didn't I'm, want- I'm actually committed. And I'm like, you know, commit to this. I, I'm ready. I didn't want my laugh to seem rude there. Uh, it's it's just like the first video, really. The first video yeah, we uploaded. The first on TikTok. video. That's crazy how like you like you guys are just having fun with this. Yeah. There's you know? haters right. out there, man. And people like take time out of their day to be like, "Bro, you suck." Yeah. Like, what are you it, doing? It, it was so funny because I was like, "Really? Yeah." That's first, the one like, comment first we episode get. too. Yeah, that I was mean, crazy. Maybe maybe God put it like that so you guys could be like, "Yeah, you push y'all." You know? I, I I thank you, man, for saying that. Hey, I mean, thank you, you commented. You gave us probably more views. Yeah. TikTok, TikTok picked up the video and was like, some people are commenting on it. Let's push it further. Shout yeah. out to you. Shout out to you. Hater. Seriously. <laughs> Hater. <laughs> All the tweet and deleters. Oh, my. And uh, I, I always look back to it because it's funny because it's like, look where we're at now. I mean, four episodes in, we've got a decent, we did a decent amount of views on our TikTok. And it's yep. like, if we would have just took that comment for face value and quit right there. Yeah. What is that? I mean, yeah. what does that show everybody? Is that, I guess it proved them right. Why yeah. prove them right when you can prove them wrong? Oh, God. That's all right. And you can't prove them wrong without just going for it, bro. Oh, God. You got to take risks. You have to, have to, have to. Got to be committed, you know? Like, people ask me, too, at work. They're like, why did you start it? Or like, I want to start one. I want to start one. It's like, well, do it. Yeah, do it. You say Literally, you want to start it, do then it. do it. Yeah. You don't have to have the that's, same equipment I have. Take yeah. your phone. That's the first step. Like, Literally, just do yeah, it. I just go that's, for it. I mean, if you look you back, if do. you look at the first episode part of this one, the quality is probably yeah. ten times better. But that's just because we did it and yeah. we're working better at it. And it just takes time and effort. I mean, it's with anything. It's You're like right. playing a sport. And y'all, both y'all play sports. Were y'all good when you first started? No, I was awful. Golly, no, I wasn't did, good when I ended. I'll be honest, <laughs> I wasn't either. Did, 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 did people say you sucked when you first started? Yeah. Were they yeah. hating on you? Yeah. And what did you do? I. Still played it. I got better. <laughs> yeah, got better. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, yeah. You just kept pushing. Exactly. You got through it, man. You got through it. I like to prove people wrong. I really do. Yeah. It makes me feel good inside. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're trash. All right. So, uh, where do y'all see yourself in a, what? It's a year. Y'all be in Maryland. Where do y'all see yourself in three years? Three years. Three years. Well. You'll be what? 20 something? 20, 21 for me. 22 for my man Chris over there. Or it's kind of hard to read the future, but what are y'all's goals? Um, definitely to hit a thousand, a thousand downloads on this podcast because that's like a huge milestone. A thousand people took the time to listen to this thing Mm -hmm. because people's time are value, like have a lot of value. And for someone to be like, just I, I, it's still hard for me to think about that. Like, even you saying, like, you're working, right? And you have valuable time. You can listen to any song or thing, and you're listening to us talk about oh, some random just, stuff. It just makes me like it makes me it wow. Make, it really makes yeah. me feel so good to be honest with you. And when people are like, "Dude, I love your podcast. It's actually so funny." It just makes me so it, like makes me feel so good inside. As it should, bro. Like think about it. No, not a lot of people have the courage to like do what y'all are doing. Yeah, you're right. And we just shot for it. Yeah. I mean, you just yeah. gotta shoot, shoot for the stars. And if you hit something, you hit something. If you miss, you miss. I mean, you never know unless you try. But I think for the future, I'm thinking we're going to keep doing this. I mean, yeah, I want to keep doing this. No I, reason I, to stop. I, I want to hit like, I want to hit like the 2000 episode mark. Like, I want to get in a thousand episodes. 2000 like, episodes? Yeah. That's like 10 years in the okay. future, man. I, I, I'm committed, man. I'm really committed. If you're committed, I'm committed. Hey, man. I'm you know, I guess I got to be committed too. Yeah. Then. I hope you guys get there because I will do that. One, I'll watch every single episode. And to, it would be so funny to look back 10 years <laughs> and see me five, five foot six self on the couch. See, no, see, that would be funny. Like, imagine we're like, imagine we're like a thousand episodes in and we we react to like our first, second, third, fourth. And like, imagine seeing like, seeing how like much we've, you know, I, I'm just excited to hear all the new, all, like all the guests we have on here. Oh, I like yeah. to talk to people here and their stories. Cause I mean, everyone's lived a com- completely different life. No one's lived the like same life. Yeah. So hearing everyone else's stories and, just like basically living through those stories. I mean, I think I don't know a lot of other podcasts where it's just strictly like funny stories and stuff. There's definitely a, definitely a lot, but I just think the way we do is a little more uh, comfortable, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's not as like, like uptight. Yeah. And I think it's just a, a way to relax. And I think it's really nice that people can take some joy out of it. I yeah. Mean, me too, man. My goal is to make people big. happy. Yeah. Me Seriously. Too. That's good. And laugh, of course. <laughs> I hope they're laughing. I, mean, I, I hope so. If they're man. not laughing, we're not doing our job. Yeah. 
And honestly, I'm thinking one day I might want to start pursuing a comedian career. Yeah. I mean, if we're able, if we're able to make people laugh through the phone, why not do it in person? You know? Do, You're right. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Being so for real. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, it, I mean, it takes a lot of work. I mean, when you first, if you look at, I guess, I don't, I don't really know any off the top of my head, but like a lot of comedians when they first started, they were garbage. Yeah. But I mean, you got to learn how to talk. Like the podcast is a good way to learn how to talk and you hear yourself a lot. So you got to be comfortable with yourself and it's a good way to like break yourself down and like learn mm -hmm. how to be comfortable with speaking in front of the camera, speaking to people. Cause in reality, we are speaking to people. Yeah. yeah. People are listening to us and they want to know what we have to say. And they do. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. I hope so, man. I really do. But dang, it's just crazy y'all did it, man. We did it. Yeah. And we're still going. Yeah, we're we're I'm I'm committed. I'm really I really am. And now you're part of it, man. Yeah, How do you feel? I feel amazing. Amazing. Oh, um, one thing I want to talk about though is how do I word it? <laughs> I don't know. How do you word it? How do you word it? I don't know if I word it. <laughs> He's thinking, guys. He is, he is, Stroking he his thinking. beard. Dude, <laughs> so, like, I know you said criticism, but have you ever got, like, in-person criticism from just anybody? Like, mm, <clears throat> I've heard it over the phone. I've heard it on text. Yeah, I haven't too. heard it. I haven't heard it in person. In person, I think. And if you if you did hear it in person, how would you guys react to it? The same way I react to it on the phone. Just, yeah, um, I mean, as long as they're not trying to like, like I guess, I mean, be offensive or like just try just being rude to be rude, you know? Because there's a difference between constructive criticism and just hating on something. Yeah. yeah. If they're hating, I mean, I'm not gonna get upset, but it's like still like why? Mm -hmm. But if you're just trying to actually help and be like genuine, like I didn't like it because this, all right. Thank you for letting me know. Seriously, see, I'll work on it. Same, same with that. If like, if people are just hating to hate, then like I really don't care. But if people are hating, like you know, like dude, you got to do this. That would be so much better. Then I'm gonna listen to them. But like all the other people that are just actually just hate. I'm like, all right, bro, that's you, you're not doing anything. You do it then. You know what I mean? Right. Um. Do you guys have like the next guest set up? Like, should you guys be excited for like the next like five, six, seven? Y'all should be excited for every episode yeah, on every Tuesday. Episode. Every Tuesday. Um, we're not the biggest planners. We're planners to an extent of a week ahead. Yeah. I mean, okay. with you. I mean, how did you feel about the process of getting on the show? Was it super easy? Like, would you recommend the process of getting on the show? Like, yeah, how I mean, did you go about it? Let everyone know how you, how you went about it. Like, like, what do you mean? Like, how did you go about getting on the show? Um, like, how, yeah. It started with the first episode, I think. And I was like, dude, that thing was hilarious. Like, I should... I, I, I think I, I think I want to hop on and like tell tell some funny stories and maybe just like talk with you guys. Yeah. And then you guys were like, yeah, like you'd be a great guest. Da, 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 da. And then here you are. Saturday, here you are. <laughs> Saturday at <laughs> the, the time. Yep. You know. And it's just I've said it a thousand times, but it's just so crazy. Like I watch so many podcasts. There's so many podcasts out there. There's a lot. There is a lot. Yeah. But my friend started one, bro. And it's just right. it's cool. Yeah. Uh, like it's actually cool to like. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't explain. Were it. you nervous when you? Uh, yeah, were you like nervous like, at the oh, beginning dude, of this? I, I wish you guys. I wish there was a camera, like a dash cam. I was hyped up, little baby, the whole time. <laughs> blast, like, dude, I was in my zone. How was man. it like? How was it the day before? Like, were you thinking about it? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got off work at six a.m. this morning and <sighs> have not slept. I've just been thinking about podcast, 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 podcast. Wow! Wow! That is that's dedication. That right is there. some dedication. I mean, it's just. Excitement, I guess. It is exciting. I mean, that's how I feel. I mean, I think Chris feels the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just every episode's another, another time to sit down and kind of just have a moment to relax. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like I feel like I can just be myself on here. Like, cause you know, I, I really I, I don't have no filter. I don't like filtering stuff. So. I mean, it's yeah. like when people see us out in public. I mean. I guarantee they're thinking whatever they think, but it's like when people hear us on here, I guess it's kind of a, their way of knowing who we are before they know yeah. us. Yeah. I love that. Their way of getting their inside scoop on. I mean, I see these guys, but what are they actually like? Yeah. And I hope they like us better. I, I really After they so. hear us and not Especially worse. Especially me, because I usually don't talk and I'm actually coming here and talking and yeah, I hope you guys really like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. But uh, yeah. Any other questions? Um... 
I could probably think of some, but they wouldn't be really logical, I'll be honest. <laughs> All right. Well, if we've hit the point of no return and we're heading towards the end, I guess we'll let y'all know. Make sure to follow our socials on everything. You're Not Serious Right podcast on YouTube, I think, and our TikTok and Instagram. Yep. All the above. Hit our DMs up on Instagram if y'all want to be a part of the show, like my man Caden right here. It's he free, did it. by the way. I'm it kidding, it, it is kidding. free. Bro, I had to pay $500. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Actually, about paying, you can support us on our website on Buzzsprout. It's a link to our Instagram. Yep. There is tiers, I guess, like subscriptions, like $3 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month. And we do have a PayPal link. All the money that we get, it's not going to no subscriptions. Don't get any ideas. Yeah. It's, it's, going, <laughs> it's going straight to make this podcast better. Yep. I mean... Y'all helping us get this couch. Y'all helping us get the cameras. Y'all helping us get the mics. Y'all helping us get the mic stands. Everything that y'all donate is going to go straight back into this thing. And it's a worthwhile investment if you enjoy the show. And I think like, you can tell from like episode one, it gradually gets better. Like we have this nice couch now and we used to have a this shitty ass table. <laughs> <laughs> if, I got another question. If you guys could do a podcast anywhere in the world with like the back to background or just like be in like at that place where would y'all want to be like the background like an ocean like hawaii oh. or like i don't think i've ever seen a podcast with someone in hawaii with the I, like, I as think, a background i think lil yachty and drake were in turks and caicos <sighs> that would be cool man i ain't got just money like that nice ocean and it the episode ended by the sun going down are you serious so it just kept going down 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 and then they just got to black jacob who's your dream guest my dream guest like Theo it Vaughn. could be anyone Theo, Theo Vaughn. Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn, man. Really? That man's hilarious. I don't know, man. I just want to... So <laughs> Dude, he says the most outrageous yeah, he does. stuff. He, does. he is funny. Definitely I mean, him. I... I think, like, dude, imagine if Seth Rogen... I, I, or, yeah, Seth Rogen. I want him. Seth Rogen. I love Seth Rogen. He's That's probably... Cool too. I, I, if he's just on here, I guarantee you it'd be the funniest thing. His laugh is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> He de- there's so de- de- if that's one person that definitely lights up the room when he walks in yeah, is yeah. definitely Great Seth guy. Rogen. I wish, I hope so. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I mean, just look to the future. I mean, yeah. if if we're still doing this and we're racking up the viewers slowly and steadily, I mean, hey, anything is possible when you oh, yeah. when you're up there. But uh, yeah, you know, I think it's been a good 52 minutes on this podcast. Hope y'all enjoyed every second of it, every millisecond. Yep. And make sure to catch us on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, every Tuesday 12 a.m. releases in the morning for y'all early listeners like my man Caden right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 12 at Tuesday. 12 every Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, but uh, you're not serious, right? right? <laughs> <laughs>